Hey guys, it's King Pyro here and I'm back with another video and today we're going to be reviewing The Division and a quick side note is if you have PS4 you will not get the DLC first Xbox One will, I don't know the time frame between when Xbox gets it and when PS4 gets it so you want to keep that in mind when you're buying this game or buying the DLC Alright, so now we're in the main menu not much to it, no other game modes, just continue game just go into the open world now the loading screen when you first start the game is about as long as gta when it loads up which is a really long time <clears throat> now getting into the um the looting system it's absolutely amazing not much to say about it um so much attachment so much things to look at like so many things that you you can add to your weapon to make it different from other people's weapons and that's what I like about this game because it adds variety. If you're going against a level 5, you have different stuff than them, like abilities or different attachments, which can really make a really big difference. And now I want to go over to graphics. Another great thing about this game, it's absolutely amazing. Look, it's, it's fog, it's snowing, and it's a little bit, it's hard to see and stuff. And that's that, that looks really good. Like you can barely see the people. That's why I had to run all the way up there just to see them. And one thing to say is, if you put your brightness all the way up, you won't be able to see all this fog and all that stuff. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. And I'm gonna get into playing with friends now. Playing with friends. Actually, no, my bad. Uh, I want to talk about running around the map the open world is not really that fun to me it's pretty dead you just see a few civilians and a few uh, criminals and all that stuff um and there's a lot of walking so i mean like a lot of walking my friend was like don't get this game if you don't like walking i'm like it shouldn't be that bad right i played it it was really bad like honestly walking in this game is a real hassle some places you can fast travel some places you can't and uh, it gets really annoying now as far as the story goes it's not really that great it compares to destiny but i'll give it a little bit of a bump up compared to um destiny um but the cutscenes look very nice i'll give it that but you just don't get emotionally attached to any of the characters like you do say for uncharted or anything like that and i was like, kind of expecting a good story but i mean they delivered on everything else upset the story <clears throat> now getting into the combat the combat is absolutely amazing just the simplicity of it just really makes you want to play now if you're a casual gamer you can play this game because the simplicity of just covering shooting ducking all that stuff is easy to learn now if you're a hardcore gamer there's the, all that loot system stuff look up how to get extra rare loot and all that stuff if you're really trying to get into the game but if you're not it's really not that bad of a game to play to be honest because i'm playing it casually um my, i know in the video it says i'm a level four but uh definitely i'm a level 10 right now so i have got to play the game a little bit more um but yeah, uh, the thing that's confusing, the thing that I don't like about this game, one more thing is um, how this game just teaches you how to play it. Like it doesn't really teach you anything. It's kind of like, like you should already know how to play this game. That's pretty much how they put you in there. And I mean, some people may like that. Some people may not. I didn't really like it. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just upgrading random stuff whenever they told me to. And you didn't really know why you're doing it. And that's something that I did not like. But once you get to play it a little bit more, you'll kind of understand what you're doing. Um, but once you're, when you're a little bit of a lower level, you really don't know what you're doing. Um, but yeah. And then one last thing I want to touch on is... Oh, should you buy this if your friends do not have it? No, 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 no. Because this game is just so boring. Like, honestly, if you're playing this by yourself, because you can't strategize and you can be like, oh, help me, or I don't know how to explain it. But 
it's just not fun. Like, even if you're not even playing together, like, none of my friends had it right, but my friend finally uh, game shared it to him, and he was a level 4 and I'm a level 8, and we're just talking about the game back and forth to each other, and that was pretty fun to me, because, like, even that was fun to me, like, even just the thought of playing together is fun in this game, like, if you buy this game and you have friends to play with, it will be the best game that you ever played, to be honest, um, just nothing else to it, it's, a good game if you're gonna play with friends i mean you can still play it without i mean just yourself and some random people but it does get annoying when they don't know what they're doing or they won't cooperate with you or they won't revive you and stuff like that if you go down because i did run into a few people that did do that but um other than that this game is pretty good so it's up to you a lot of people are saying if you don't have friends do not buy this game um yeah so that's up to you for to make your decision if you have friends go ahead and buy it if you don't uh, it's still not a bad game but uh that's about it for this review it's king pyro and i'm